Uh, hello everyone. Good morning. Am I audible to all of you? Can you please confirm in the chat? Okay, I think I'm audible guys to all of you. So welcome uh, to today's session actually. So today actually we'll be exploring uh, one amazing uh, like uh, object detection algorithm called YOLO V8. So as of now, we have seen different, different uh, object detection uh, like framework and algorithm like we have started from YOLO V5. We have explored YOLO V6 as well as we have also explored YOLO V7. So today I'm going to show you how we can utilize this particular YOLO V8 and we'll see that like, uh, why YOLO V8 is so popular and why it is like so powerful than your uh, YOLO V7 or YOLO V6, okay, any other, uh, let's say you have learned so far. So uh, that's actually, we'll be also exploring the YOLO V9 one in the next class. So YOLO V9, I think this is the latest one. So we'll be also exploring this part as well. So first of all, what I will show you, I'll show you the dashboard, like where you will get all the resources, whatever we have done uh, previously. So for this, uh, make sure you just go to our website and here, uh, just go to the community program and if i go to my courses here so let me show you so this is my courses called computer vision hands-on now go to the courses and make sure uh you have signed sign up with your account if you don't have any account you just try, uh, need to create one account after that you will be uh enrolled for this particular course and this is completely free so for me i have already enrolled for this particular course i'll go to the courses section so today is day six and think till day five, everything is up to date. As you can see, day five, everything is up to date. So this was the last session I took uh, of the YOLO V7. I, I was uh, discussing the YOLO V7, how we can train this YOLO V7 on top of the custom data. And here is the resources as well. Uh, the resources actually I have already shared in that particular session. Now here, what I will show you, first of all, uh, I'll show you the YOLO V8, like what is exactly this YOLO V8 is. And I'll show you the comparison, I'll show you the benchmark of this YOLO V, uh, this YOLO V8. Then after that, I will start with the training part. So for this, actually, I'm going to refer this particular RoboFlow blog. So I think you, you know already we are using RoboFlow throughout this entire series, actually, for the data annotation and all. So RoboFlow has also their uh, blog site, actually. So they have written different different blog uh, on the all all the Alexa object detection task actually we are having all its any kinds of image segmentation key point detection whatever things actually you want to do you can search here you will get all the blog here so you can refer this particular blog and you can also read it out you can also try it out okay on your Jupyter notebook and you can try to implement anything so here is the blog actually they have written called uh, yellow v8 so yellow v8 is nothing but it's a state of the art object detection and image segmentation model created by Alteralytics the developers of YOLO V5. Now, I think you remember, I was showing the YOLO V5 example. So there I was using YOLO V5 uh, GitHub, actually, you can see. So this is the YOLO V5 GitHub. And the same, uh, like YOLO V5, okay, proposed by the Alteralytics, this particular organization, okay. And this organization is also proposed, this particular algorithm called YOLO V8. That's why they're telling, created by Alteralytics, the developer of YOLO V5, all right. Now we can also go to the GitHub, of the Alteralytics. So this is the official GitHub of the Alteralytics and uh, they have different, different product actually. So see, okay, this is the current one, YOLO V8. Uh, uh, this is the current one and you can see the benchmark and everything. So they have already given. Okay, so you can go ahead with this particular GitHub and you can try to understand and see, these are the contributor actually. So it is like huge contributor here. Now, if I show you the last commit, so last commit was uh, 16 hours ago only. So this is like very active research. Let's say if you are having any kinds of issue, if you're having any kind of issues, just try to create an issue here. So it would be quickly resolved. See, it would be quickly resolved. So that's how actually you can uh, track this particular uh, open source contribution. Okay. Uh, let's say if you want to add something in this particular contribution, you can also add, you can create a pull request. See, some of the pull request has been already created. So different, different pull requests already created. They will verify from their end. And if it is fine, they will accept your pull request and it will be also become a contributor in this particular repository okay that's how this is completely open source research they are also telling if you know anything if you want to add something extra in this particular repo you can feel free to add it right so yes you can export now let's see what is the next so yellow v8 uh, is state of the art object detection and image segmentation model created by Alteralytics. the developer of uh, developer of yellow v5 yellow v8 launches on january uh 10 2023 so 2023 10th january this model was proposed now what are the features actually it is having a new backbone network a design that makes easy to complete uh, compare model performance with other other older model the yellow family 
a new loss function added a new anchor free detection head okay so these are the new technology they have added in this particular algorithm and let me tell you this particular yolo v8 can be also used for the classification task for the object detection task and for the image classification task uh, sorry for the uh, image segmentation task so these three tasks actually you can perform with the help of one particular algorithm okay i think i was discussing about what is the classification what is the detection and what is the segmentation task right now let's see if you want to perform all the tasks together or let's say if you want to perform any kinds of task with the help of this particular yolo v5 uh, yolo v8 you can feel free to do it because it's also support classification it also supports uh, detection is also supports this uh, uh instance segmentation as well okay i'll tell you how it can be done i'll uh, like at least uh, take one particular demo like how we can perform the classification uh, basically i'll be doing the inference on top of the train model but if you want to do the custom training and all at a time either you can refer the roboflow blog either you can refer the github repo they have shared with you okay so you see there are different different uh, things actually they have proposed let me show you Mm, they're also telling here yellow v v8 documentation full documentation valid train and deployment if i open it up and apart from that they have also given like the command actually you can use utilize so everything they have given here okay even they have also given the tutorial notebook let's say if you're interested you can also open up the tutorial notebook and you can try to understand okay see task you can perform detect then you can perform segment you can perform classification okay uh see they have also added the pose pose estimation as well okay so this is the new one they have added now there is another one obb that means oriented bounding boxes object detection okay this task actually you can also perform oriented see this is the oriented oriented detection as you can see okay this can be also done so one two three four five so this five tasks actually you can perform with the help of one particular model so this is like amazing right so I'll tell you how to like change this particular task and how to do different, different, uh, like you can say uh, projects and all. Okay. This would be very much clear. So this is the official documentation from the alternatives of this Yolo V8 documentation, entire documentation you can visit and you can try to see how it can be done. Okay. See, they have already given all the command, all the Python code and everything. Okay. You can test it out. Now guys, what I will do, I'll go back and here you can see the Yolo V8 performance, a benchmark on RoboFlow. 100 so roboflow 100 is nothing but it's a data set okay benchmark data set so this is the performance actually they achieved we uh, benchmark on yellow v8 on roboflow uh, 100 and object detection benchmark that analyzes the performance of the model in task specific domain roboflow 100 is a um, method of effectively assessment extent to which model can be generated to access the different problem statement now yellow v8 and yellow v uh, versus yellow v5 you can see we found that yellow v5 is scored 80.2% MAP score on RoboFlow V100 dataset compared to 73.5% uh, 73, 73 mean score of the YOLO V5. That means you can see the accuracy they have achieved here. Now, this shows that YOLO V8 is a significantly better at domain specific task than alternatives. YOLO V5, uh, uh, this one, uh, uh, precedes or whatever they have like developed. We compared YOLO V5 s and yolo v, uh, v v8 in the analysis now you can see yolo v5 perform performance on the benchmark on coco data set now it is having different different model actually it is having yolo v8 n model s model m model l model and x model n model means this is the nano model s model means this is the smallest model and m model means this is the medium model this is the large model this is the x large model that's how you can see the size of the image size of the pixel this is the map score this is the speed of the C uh, cpu and gpu this is the parameter size of the model and this is the flop okay of the model now you can see this code snippet and all you can try to uh, execute in your jupyter notebook okay that's how they have written one amazing blog you can refer this particular blog okay roboflow blog now i'll be using another blog so this is the blog guys so how to train yolo v8 object detection on a custom data set with the help of this particular blog i'll be training one particular model that means on my custom data i'll be training this particular yolo v8 model right so they have already given all the steps like how to perform the data annotation and all. I think I already showed you how we can perform the data annotation with the help of RoboFlow. So uh, they actually need to upload the data, then we can start the annotation. Now see all the steps they have given. So I already prepared one notebook for you. So I'll try to show you how we, it can be done. But before that, let me show you the demo of the YOLO V8. It is having two different mode. One is like SDK mode, another is like command line mode. With the help of command line, you can also do the detection, classification and segmentation. 
and another way you can do with the help of python sdk that means you can also write the python code you can also do that classification detection and segmentation so both i'm going to discuss so first of all uh, i'm going to open up a collab notebook let me open up a collab notebook then here i think i can uh, show you everything And these resources I will share in the same dashboard actually I've showed you. So from that description, uh, from the description itself, you will get this particular course link. You can enroll and you can get the resources from there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to name this particular uh, file as uh, yellow v8 cmd. That means I'll show you the command uh, interface first of all, yellow. Mm, yellow. Uh, I think, yes, it should be yellow. V8, CMD, okay, CMD demo. Now make sure you change your runtime to GPU. T4 GPU saved. Now I'll connect this particular notebook. Now let me just uh, write down some of the things so that you can note it out. yeah so modes actually it is having the uh, three different modes uh, the train mode validation mode and predict mode let's say you want to do training at the time you will be using training mode you want to only validate your image at the time you can use validation mode and let's see if you want to only inference that particular image or let's say you want to do the prediction at the time you can go with prediction mode and task you can perform i already told you we can par perform three different tasks detection segmentation and classification they have also added key point detection and oriented object detection as well, but I haven't added here. This part you can explore from the documentation or the RoboFlow blog itself. Now, data format can be a uh, different task type. That means whatever task actually you are performing, based on that your data format will be deferred, okay? Now, most of the time, whenever you are doing the detection task with the help of YOLO V8, the data format should be the same as you did for the YOLO V5, okay? I think in YOLO V5 also you annotated the data. And I already showed you the format of the data. The same format can be applied in the YOLO V8 as well, okay? So these are the things actually you have to note it out before starting with the YOLO V8. Now the first thing, the installation. So installation wise, they have already given the commands like how to install this particular YOLO V8. So as you can see here, so if you want to install, if you want to use this particular YOLO V8, you have to install this particular library called Alteratix, okay? With the help of pip install, you can do it. So let's copy this command. I'll open up my collab notebook and here I'm going to install the library okay then i'm going to access this particular yolo v8 so let me just write down this is the installation installation okay we are doing so it will take some time once it is done then i will start with the command line demo okay how we can perform the detection first of all i will show you then we can do the next thing So installation is going on in between i will download one data so this is the data guys so this is the image actually i'm going to download and this image actually i'm going to uh, give it to my model okay so i'll save this particular image so this is a dog image i think i can save Okay, I think installation is done. Now what I have to do, first of all, I will upload this particular image here. So let's upload this image. So I'll upload. Mm, this is the dog image I downloaded. So here is the image, I will upload it. Hmm. So the first task I will show you, the detection, how we can perform the detection. 
uh, with the help of command line. So it's like very easy to use. If you're using YOLO V8 uh, with the help of command line easily, you can do the detection. Let me show you how it can be done. So if you want to perform the detection, so first of all, you have to execute one command, uh, YOLO. They have already given the command here, see. YOLO predict model and source images, okay? And you want to perform the mode. What, what kinds of, let's say task you want to perform. So let me show you the command, how it can be done. So just write YOLO. Uh, then first of all, you have to specify the task you want to perform. So here I want to perform the detection task. So that's why I'll be writing the detect, okay, detect. Because I have already noted out everything. See, task, detect, segment, and classification. So if you want to perform detection, you, at the time you need to uh, write the detection. So here I have written the detection. Now mode is equal to, I want to only do the prediction, okay, predict. Not the training and not the validation. I only want to do the prediction. Then model. Which model you want to use, you need to specify the model name. Now here you have different, different model. Let me show you. It is having different, different model in the model view. Uh, YOLO V5 series, this is the, but I want the YOLO V8. YOLO V8 model view. So let me just find you know, that particular things. YOLO V documentation, YOLO V5 model, YOLO V8 model view. So here, let me just write YOLO V8 model okay model view now maybe uh, i think we can get it from here mm, i think somewhere they kept the model yellow v8 detect documentation let me open the documentation here mm, detection model so yeah so this is the model view in the documentation so see it is having different different model n model s model medium model large model and x large model so i'm going to use this particular model nano model okay so just copy the name and open the notebook and here just try to specify and after that you just need to write the pt that means i want to download the uh, pytorch model okay that that's why i have given the pt dot pt okay so once it is done i also need to give my source image okay source is equal to so this is the source image i'll copy the path and here i need to specify this is the source image okay then once it is done you also need to define one parameter called save is equal to two because it will also create a folder inside that it will save that particular detection save is equal to two now this is the command actually true i think yeah so everything is fine now if i execute this particular command okay if i execute this particular command you will see it will automatically perform the detection for me without writing any kinds of code with the help of command line interface i can easily do it because i have already installed this alternatives package okay now let me just install it. Uh, let me just execute and show you whether it is able to detect or not. Okay, I'm getting one error. No such file and directory YOLO v5 pt. Uh, okay, so I think I need to download the model or I think I can give like that. Now let me try. Okay, I think I have to download the model first of all. So if I want to download, just a minute guys, let me check. Mm. Okay, so why it's not working? Because the name should be in a smaller character. Okay, that's why it's not working. So I have to give a smaller character like that. It should be in a smaller character. Okay, now I think it should work. It will automatically download the model. Okay, I don't need to download it. See, now it is downloading this particular model. And after that, it will do the detection on top of it. Now, one question I'm getting, could you uh, please provide the GitHub repo for source code for all the previous session? So I already told you, uh, Atal, you were asking this particular question. So you have one dashboard. Okay, so this is the course dashboard. You can find this particular dashboard link in the uh, YouTube uh, live description section. Okay, so see, this is the dashboard computer vision hands-on. So please enroll for this particular course. This is completely free. Okay, you just need to create one account and need to get this particular course. And here you will get all the resources, see, as well as the video, even with the resources, everything I have shared. Okay, you can get, get it from here. Everything is in one place only. Okay, my detection is completed. Now, if I refresh the page, now see, one runs folder has been created. Now, if I go into the runs folder, detection, okay, and here is the prediction and here is the prediction guys. Now let me open this particular prediction. See guys, amazingly, it has detected all the object present in this particular image, right? See, it has detected the dog. Now let me open this particular image in a new tab. Now, yeah, now I, I think you can see that. See, it is detected this particular dog. 
it is also detect the particular person and there is a small car you can see small car it's not like very i mean uh, visible in a good way but still able, it is able to detect that particular object okay it's like amazing model you can see and see the confidence score like uh, it's pretty amazing right so that's actually with the help of just one particular line one particular line we executed and we are able to do the detection okay now let's say if you're creating any kind of application you don't need to write so many codes if you want to only execute from the command line interface you can do it like that okay so this is the detection demo now let's also see that segmentation one so i'll write here how to perform the segmentation one segmentation segmentation one segmentation yeah i mean segmentation okay now segmentation wise i'll be copying the same command only only i just need to change the mode here task and mode so here uh, task wise i will be doing the segmentation so here you need to write segment okay segment and predict is uh, mode is equal to predict and model uh, now you want to use the uh, segmentation model so it is also having the segmentation model let me show you so go to the documentation now i'll go to the segmentation right now so segmentation is having different different models see you have the v5 n segmentation model s segmentation model m segmentation model l segmentation model and large segmentation model now i'm going to use this particular nano segmentation model okay so again i need to copy the name and here i just need to provide this particular name so this is the name you have to write in a smaller character so here is the name model is equal to yolo v v8 n segment dot pt this model i'm going to use and i'm going to use the same image actually i'm having here uh, as you can see this uh, dog dog and person image and save is equal to true now if i execute this particular command again so you will see uh, i'll get the direction again see it's done now if i refresh now this model has downloaded now if i go to the runs folder now see it has created another folder called segment if i go inside the segment predict and this is my final prediction now if i go open up this particular image in a new tab see guys amazingly it has segmented out my object as well okay see now car is not able to segment out by because it, uh, segmentation is like very costly task so here if you see this is my dog it is segmented out it has applied the mask on top of it as well as this is the person okay the entire mask you, you can see here okay now let's see the classification as well how we can perform the classification with the help of this particular yellow v8 now again i'm going to uh, open up my collab i'll going to close it now here i will show you the classification task as well classy Classification. and two more tasks actually you have to uh, explore by you so these two tasks actually you can uh, do a uh, post detection and oriented bounding box object ob object detection okay these two tasks actually you can explore from your end so for this you can refer roboflow blog roboflow blog has having different different things actually you can search here you can also do it from your end now let's see the classification how it can be done see for classification also uh, i'm going to use the same command okay i'm going to use the same command I'll copy the command and here I need to paste it out. Now here, instead of a uh, task uh, segment, you just need to write the classify, classy, classify, because I've already written here everything at the very first, you have to do the classify. Then after classify, uh, mode is equal to, it should be predict model. Now see, if I want to do the classification, now I, I'll be using the classification model. Again, I will go to the documentation, go to the classification. So it is having also classification baseline. See, these are the classification baseline. Now let's select one model. So I'll be using the same nano model, uh, CLSPT. So here I just need to write inside the model. I'll change the model name. Source is equal to, let's uh, use uh, one single image because if I want to do the classification, I should have only one object in particular image, okay? So I'm going to download one cat image, okay? Cat image from the Google. So let's say this is the cat image I'm having here. So I think I can utilize uh, this particular image. Okay, I think this would be good. I'm going to download. And this is cat. Now let's upload this particular image here. Upload. 
and here is the cat image now i'll copy the path and i'll mention it here okay now let me execute and see done if i refresh right now if i go to the runs folder now see classify has been created now inside that prediction and this is nothing but my cat okay see uh tiger cat we cat. now see it is also giving the uh, spouse of the cat see different different variant of the cat also so tabby cat uh it is uh, like it is having confidence score 0 0.32 confidence tiger cat 0 0.20 confidence then Egypt, Egyptian cat, uh, Egypt, Egyptian cat actually, uh, 80 percent, 18 percent, lens cat, uh, plastic bag. Okay, see, these are like very low confidence. That means this is not a like actual class. Actual class is like tabby. Okay, tabby. If I search for tabby, tabby, tabby cat. Okay, see, this is the tabby cat. So this is the. Uh, cat variant okay this is the tabby cat so it is perfectly classifying this particular things this is tabby cat because this is the confidence score higher confidence score here okay tabby cat 32 percent confidence this is a tabby cat okay so that's how you can perform the image classification as well okay so this is the uh, command line interface demo okay now let me show you the python sdk demo as well so here let me just comment out let's see if you want to also perform with the help of python sdk you can also do it python sdk so for this, actually, I'm going to uh, show you one particular code snippet. Uh, yeah. First of all, you have to import the YOLO from the ultra -dedic. So you just need to write from ultra. OK, ultra uh, import. You have to import the YOLO. OK, after that, you have to first of all load the model. OK, so let's load the model. So model is equal to. OK, model is equal to. Uh, I'm going to load one detection model. Let's load the detection model. And same thing also can be applied for the segmentation and classification also. Okay. So I'm going to give the same like detection model name. So here is the model name. I think you remember uh, detection. Mm, this is the detection model. I think you know, BSPT. Yeah, this is the detection model name. I'll copy the name. And here I'm going to paste it out. Okay. This is the model name you have to specify here. Now, once model you have loaded, now you can do the prediction. Okay, so here you can write model dot predict. Okay, and inside that you need to provide the image actually want to do the prediction. So now, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, use this particular dog image. Okay, this particular image I'm going to again use. So I'll copy the name, copy the path. Uh, no, sorry, this is the dog image. Copy the path, and here I have to mention it out. Okay, so once it is done, if I execute right now you will see the detection I will get here. See, all the detection I'm getting. All the detection I'm getting. See, this is the image. And this is the detection actually I'm getting. Different, different detection actually I'm getting. And uh, if I show you below, see, uh, this is the uh, inference actually I'm getting. Now, if you want to visualize this particular image, you have to use uh, like supervision, RoboFlow supervision. So. There is an, uh, another actually library they have developed supervision or you can also use OpenCV. You can also plot this particular image. So if you're doing with the help of Python SDK, you have to write these are the code manually. Okay. But if you're doing for the uh, CMD, okay, you don't need to write these are the code. So this is the idea. Now you can export the SDK part. So they have also given the tutorial of the SDK, uh, how to perform with the help of Python SDK. See, this is the CLI, the CLI I showed you. And this is the SDK ones, okay? SDK ones I, I already showed you. So this is the training one. You can also see the validation and all. Uh, so that's actually you can refer the documentation and you can learn because documentation should be the best thing to learn uh, of any kinds of technology. So okay, so you can refer this particular documentation, and apart from that, you can also refer the RoboFlow blog. Okay, they have also already written the blog and all. Now we'll be starting with the custom training on the custom data, like how we can uh, train this particular Yolo V5. Yolo V8 on our custom data, okay? With the help of this particular RoboFlow blog, actually we'll be referring there. How to create this particular collab code file into an end-to-end -end object detection project, okay? So if you want to learn end-to-end -end object detection project, we need, so you can refer our uh, community series. So if you just go to the playlist, I, I have already taken one end-to-end -end projects on the object detection. Let me show you. 
end to end object detection okay see this particular playlist you can refer so here i already created the entire pipeline okay see seven days uh, session was there so everything i have showed you uh, from the project setup itself i also showed you jenkins ci cd deployment okay on the aws cloud you can refer this particular series okay <laughs> all right Now let me close uh, some of the tab, it's not required. Now we'll start with our custom example. All right. So first of all, what I will do, I will uh, show you the data set, how we can prepare the data set for the YOLO V8. So again, you can go to the roboflow.com. I'm sorry, it should be roboflow.com. And here you can uh, sign, sign, sign in with your account. I already have the account, I'll just sign in. Okay, it's loading, let's wait. Okay, fine, now you can go to the universe and you can choose the data you can use. So you can choose any kinds of data. So I will go for object detection. And there are so many data set guys, so you can uh, refer the data. Student, student data is there, hands project is there, project segmentation, yellow. Okay, so this is another data. Mm. I'll show you one annotation part at least. So let's say garbage. Okay, this is the garbage data actually. So you can also use the garbage annotation, but I don't want to use the garbage. So let's say you want to detect this particular uh, food, uh, uh, like let's say can, okay, drink can and all. I will use this particular data. Maybe it should be good. Yeah, so I think I can use this particular can data. So this is a lychee, okay, lychee, da lychee data set. So only, uh, let's say lychee drinks. So let's say if you want to only detect the lychee, lychee drinks uh, can, okay, uh, you can use this particular data. So I'll, I'll only uh, take one demo data set from here. But whenever you are doing your own task, make sure you are giving your own data. So first of all, here, what I will do, I will download this particular image. So I'll go to the full project. And here I'm going to export these are the images okay export data set okay so these are the image i'm having so now i think i can export select all and clone i can also clone i can also download it okay so let me clone it Clone selected image. Now I'll be cloning inside my new workspace. Mm, yeah, Buppy inside Buppy. And here you can create a project. Select a project. So which project I want to select. Or else what I can do, I can download the image. I think that would be better. Just a minute. I'll go back.
let's use this data i think i can why download option is not coming just a minute or else i think i have some image okay on my system let me check i think i can utilize those are the image Yeah, so I can utilize these at the image. Okay, so here what I will do Go to the training Yeah, so this image actually I, think I can utilize so I will uh, minimize I will uh, go to the workspace and here I'm going to create a new project Okay, so here uh, but we I already have it. I need to remove it Just a minute so I'll go back. Mm, okay, why I can't go back? Just a minute, let me close and reopen it again. Mm, Roboflow.com, sign in. So annotation part i already showed you multiple times so the same way you can perform the annotation but i'm, I'm just going you some brief idea on this so let's say uh, i'll remove this particular project all right now you can create a new project give the name so let's give uh, yolo v8 demo annotation group let's say you can write uh, worker okay workers workers now here i'll create the project now here you can upload the image so let's say i'll take some worker image Okay, so let's take this uh, these six images only. Okay, just to show you the demo. Now I'll save and continue. Hmm. Then after that, I will start the manual leveling. Now you can select the bounding box and you can select the worker. So this is worker. Go to the next image. This is also worker. This is also workers. All right. Now this is also workers. And uh, this is also workers. last image this is also workers done now once it is done just go back and add the data into image now add the images now create the version continue and again click on continue and create the data set now here i will uh, export the data set now here you have to specify the format okay now you want to use let's say yolo v8 now see guys you want to uh, use the yolo v8 so select this particular one yolo v8 no need to select oriented bounding box only will be selecting the yolo v8 okay this one now download the data as a zip file continue i just wanted to show you the data format how it will look like that's why i have done the annotation now see it will start the download now download is done now i'll go back to my download folder and let me show the data extract all the image and this is my image uh, folder now you can remove this to readme file it's not required 
and see this is the same for for a folder form format structure as you did in your yellow v5 as well okay this is my image and this is my labels okay that means txt annotation and that's how we have the testing and the, uh, this one data as well data.yml inside data.yml you will have the location of the data let me show you this is the location of the data now we can remove this part it's not required okay yeah now i'm only having one particular object called workers okay that's why now i'll close it and now i'll show you the uh, training part okay because i already have the annotation of this particular data i'll share with you so let me just uh, show you that particular drive i'm having so guys this is my google drive so inside that actually i already have my data so let's say this is my data okay inside that i have my training images okay see these are my training images okay and uh, this is my uh, testing images and also have my validation image okay so everything i am having the same market data so now uh, what i have to do uh, uh, make sure you copy this particular data.yml file outside of this particular folder okay here uh, outside of the data folder now here i i already have one notebook so this is the notebook i already prepared for you okay so this is the notebook i prepared for you now here i already showed you the same thing like how we can use the sdk and all how we can do the classification okay then uh, detection and all so i'm not going to do it again so i'm going to first of all connect my notebook minus session first of all i have to terminate the previous one then i will be connecting this one see what is oriented uh, bounding box uh, so you can go to that particular uh, task see oriented bounding box and see the example see your object should be oriented monica okay it should be oriented see it's not a uh, like a straight image it's a oriented image that time you will be using orientation okay because if you see if you perform oriented <coughs> detection with the help of a simple detection model uh, you will see it won't it won't be detecting in a perfect way but if you're using oriented model that time it would be detecting uh, detecting perfectly you can also see the tutorial of it how it can be done hmm. now it's connected now if i check my gpu so i think i got tesla t4 yeah tesla t4 now here first of all specify the location of my content now i will i'll install the alternatives first of all so i'm uh, executing the same command and here i'm specifying one version okay specific version i want to install yeah top view you can talk about monica okay you can read the documentation you will get the idea of what what are the views actually and consider in the oriented one Now in the RoboFlow um, tutorial also, they have mentioned the same thing, how it to perform the object detection and see the same way I have also done the data annotation here. Okay. Now I'll open it up. Okay, my installation is completed. I think, uh, okay, still it is going on. Let's wait. Yeah, it's completed now. Now I'll import all the library and I'll, I'll try to test. Okay, now see it's working. Can you tell the advantage of YOLO V8 over the YOLO V7 tiny model? I already given you the introduction, Monica. Uh, the very first I was comparing all the models here. Okay, so here I've already given the like introduction. So maybe you can missed out. So YOLO V8 is better than your YOLO V7 because they have introduced so many things in the YOLO V8. Fine. Now, uh, I already imported the uh, library and it's working fine. Now, first of all, let's test one uh, image, okay, whether it's uh, working or not. So I'll, I'm going to execute the same command, detection, predict. I'm going to use the same model and source is equal to the same image, dog images, but I'm not downloading from the RoboFlow. See, 
this is the url of the image so this is the complete url of this particular image okay so i'll download this particular image and i will do the uh, detection on top of it okay and save is equal to true now let me do it and see uh, whether everything is fine or not let's say now uh, once i install everything i just wanted to test it whether everything is working fine or not then i will start with my custom training done now if i refresh see runs folder has created now if i go to the runs folder detection folder predict folder and in the doc.jpg see all the detection i can i can get here see that means it's detecting perfectly that means everything is working fine now if you want to render this particular image so you can execute this particular command see it is rendering now right now this particular image now you can also do it from the python sdk i already told you now let's say if you want to do the python sdk so this is the uh, code you can execute first of all you have to initialize the model after that you have to do the prediction on top of the which image you want to do the prediction and you also you can also specify the confidence score okay like what is the confidence score you want from your model now this is the bounding boxes now this is the results confidence score and this is the classes so this classes uh, like zero means this is a I think person 16 means this is a dog and 20 means this is the car two means this is the car okay that's how you can see different different classes now i can start with my custom training okay so if i want to do the custom training so i think you saw here i kept my data in my sent by google drive okay see here my data set is available okay now if i want to use this particular data first of all i have to mount my google drive so this is the code for it so let's mount my google drive now connect to my google drive i'll give the permission so this is my id and let's continue. Now I need to delete two things in the data folder. So it will create one cache file, okay, here. Uh, because previously I already trained, that's why this cache file should be there. Let me remove it first of all. I think somewhere I saw that particular cache file in the training. Yeah, label dot cache. Okay, this one I will need to remove. And the validation also. Hmm. This thing I have to remove. Now I think everything is fine. Now I'll open up. Now see, I my I uh like mount my google drive now if I, I can access my google drive content see whatever things i am having inside my google drive i can access now this is the location of my folder this is the location of my folder so let me redirect to this particular location it is having inside my courses and yellow v8 okay now i just copy this particular uh, location and i have just pasted here that means i want to change this particular directory to this particular directory okay that's why i've given the location here now let me change that directory You can also train with large amount of image, okay? Now for this, you have to take with Collab Pro access. There you will get more RAM, more uh, space and all. But here I'm using free Collab, that's why I'm using less images. And I want to cover in the live session because I don't have that much of time to show you the large amount of data training, right? That's why I've kept sample of images here. Now I redirected my folder. Now what I have to do, first of all, I will be, uh, yeah, so now I'll be training, okay? I'll be training my model. And see, to train the model, one line you just need to execute okay see yolo command task is equal to detect mode is equal to train now i want to do the training okay training not a validation not a prediction i want to do the training model is equal to i want to use this particular model s model i already showed you the model view data location data this data.yaml location this particular data.yaml location it will automatically load this particular data then number of epoch i want to only 10 25 epoch image size image resolution you can give and plot is equal to true okay uh, plot is equal to two and another thing i can give uh, this particular statement save is equal to two because it will uh, create the artifact and it will save everything save is equal to two now let me execute and see whether it is starting the training or not
so it will take some time guys let's wait just a minute How uh, do we decide the number of epochs needed to train the model? It's just an assumption uh, number. It, uh, uh, at least you should start with 1000 epoch, okay? It's recommended. But here I'm taking 25 epoch because I want to show you the quick training, that's why, okay? And let's say if your uh, accuracy is not improving, loss is not decreasing, uh, although we have uh, said, let's say 1000 epoch, it will automatically stop the execution. So you don't need to worry. You can also start from 1000, uh, 10,000 epoch also. So once it will see that your model losses in, is not decreasing, accuracy is not increasing, it will automatically stop the execution and it will uh, see the model. So it's not a big deal. So you can uh, set any number here. See, now my epoch has started. That means my training has started right now. Now, if I go here and you can refresh. Now, see, runs folder has created. Now, inside runs folder, you will have all the models and everything. Now, let's wait for 25 epoch. And after that, I will show you the prediction as well. Now you can try with your own data. So you just need to place the data in the Google Drive the way I showed you. Now we can do the training on top of that. Epoch number nine is going on right now. So in between, if you have any query guys, you can ask me any query do you have. And how is this particular series guys? Is it, is it helping you really in the field of computer vision and all like whether when I'm, whenever I'm talking about hands-on practical and all, is it helping you guys? Because all the like say tasks we are exploring one by one. Is it possible to use GitHub as well with the Google lab? Uh, what is the size of? Limit the GitHub offers the G Google Drive. Is uh, you can use Google Drive, okay? GitHub, it's not recommended. Uh, but if you want to uh, share the data and all, you can use uh, uh, the time you can use Google Drive. Now, see, my training is completed. Now, it has also created the runs folder. Now, inside runs folder, if I list down, now see, these are the files and folder it is created. Now, if you also want to see the confusion matrix, you can also plot it. This is the confusion matrix. You can also see the losses and accuracy. This is the losses and accuracy. And you see, my model is learning better from this particular um, graph, actually, you can see. Now, you can also see some batch images. So these are some batch images, actually, you can see. Now, now I can do the validation. Let's say I want to see the accuracy of my model, OK, uh, whether it is performing well or not. So for this, you can write uh, execute this particular valid command, OK? Now, YOLO task is equal to detect. Mode is equal to valid. Now I want to perform the validation. 
okay with the help of the model i trained this base.pt model okay on top of my testing data now let's start the validation why do we need to train the model uh, since uh, we are already importing the p10 model see inside the pretend model you won't be having these kinds of object okay the object actually we're trying to train let's say the sign language or let's say this uh, helmet uh, then uh, foot uh, foot wire gloves okay so these are the object is not present that's why we're training on top of that pretend model with our custom data nil so this is called transfer learning now see this is my final average precision i'm getting mean average precision that means this model is performing well now I can inference with my custom model. Now see the same command I'm executing here though. Task is equal to detect, mode is equal to predict, okay? And model is equal to, now I want to use my model. See, instead of giving their model, now I'm giving my model location, the base.pt model. And this model is available inside runs folder. So if I show you the runs folder, detect. Now inside that I am having my model, okay? Inside uh, train, inside voids. So this is my model. This is my model, base.pt. So this model, you can download and you can use it. OK, so this is my train model. I'll go back. Now, this particular model I'll be using. Confidence score, I want to set, let's say, 25%. If you 25% confidence, that time, you can give me the detection. And source image, I'm giving my source image. OK, so inside test data, I'm having my source image. Let me show you inside test, uh, inside data, uh, inside test image. OK, I'm having my some testing images. OK, see, some testing images I'm having. So these are the images actually I'm giving. Okay, one by one. Now let's uh, run this particular statement. Now it will take all the images one by one and it will do the detection and it will save inside the runs folder. See, detection is happening. I already did it. Okay, readles, you can check it out. <laughs> I already showed you how we can uh, predict on top of the pretend model. Okay, uh, without fine tuning. Now, see, it's done. Now, if I plot it, all the detection, you can see the detection. See, it's detecting perfectly. So, this is helmet, goggles, goggles. Are, uh, see, I only trained 25 epochs. That's why some mistake actually you can see. But if you train around, let's say, uh, around uh, 300 epoch or let's say 400 epoch, you will see it will learning better. Okay, now still see it is able to give me the detection. Fine. So that's how actually we can perform the uh, custom uh, training on top of our custom data. Okay, with the help of YOLO V8. And it's like very easy to use YOLO V8. Either you can use with the help of command line interface, either you can use Python SDK. And there are so many support and all. There are so many blog and all. There are beautiful documentation you can refer. That's if you are creating any kinds of projects, okay, on top of it. Now, what you can do, you can export the pose estimation, this particular task, how we can perform with the help of yellow V8. Okay, see, so these are the pose model are available. And you can also try this particular oriented bounding boxes object detection. Okay, this particular task actually you can perform. So this should be the task for you guys. You can explore. And if you're able to explore this particular task, if you want to do it, okay, so definitely we'll get the entire idea. All right. Fine. So yes, guys, this is all from my end. I hope you uh, got, got it like how we can do it and all. And if you like this particular session, so please uh, share this particular series with your friends and family so that they can also get to know this kinds of task actually uh, they can also perform. Yeah. So with that, guys, I will end the session. And uh, next class, I will show you the YOLO V9 object detection task. All right. Okay, so do you have an object detection course using uh, TensorFlow and available in, can be executed on the time? TensorFlow you can use uh, for object de detection also, but it would be very uh, like installation would be very hectic task. Yeah, yeah, guys. So thank you so much for joining the session. So let's uh, conclude the session right now and connect in the next class. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Take care.